All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Founders Brewing Company, and they're out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is their Green Zebra, the Mango variant. So they're calling this one a Goza-style ale, and on the side of the label it says Goza-style ale with a mango and natural flavors. It comes in at 4.6% alcohol by volume, 10 IBUs, and at the time of review, this can is approximately two and a half months old. So... We have a variant, or a new variant, I should say, of uh, their uh, Green Zebra. So the original Green Zebra was a Watermelon Goza. I think they released that one back in 2017. I had it when it first came out. And then a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, uh, Jeff, aka Nojink, sent me a can to review back in 2019. Really enjoy the Watermelon uh, variant, the OG one. Um, it's a little bit sweeter than I like, but it's very refreshing. So recently they came out with a variety pack of uh, green zebras. So they have the OG one, which is watermelon. They have this one, which is mango. They have a pineapple version and they have a peach version. They sell the variety pack for around $20, a 12 pack here in Buffalo, New York. But I was able to grab a single of the mango and I am going to review it. I'm hoping it's kind of like that watermelon, maybe not as sweet, that would be nice. But uh, I like mango uh, in general and I love it in beer. So I'm hoping that this one's uh, quite good. So um, I didn't grab the peach or the pineapple because they didn't have you know single cans of it and I didn't want to buy the entire variety pack. Maybe I'll do that later in the year. We will see. Anyway, let's give it a pour here into the hashtag proper glassware, but not really because it's a KBS glass and just turned it the other way. So it says Founders Brewing Company. But yeah, anyway, so I'm hoping that, you know, there's a nice salinity here from uh, the salt. Now, on the original one, the watermelon, it just said a watermelon um, or Goza brewed with watermelon and sea salt. I don't see sea salt anywhere on the label here, and it also says natural flavors, and the original did not. So um, hopefully that this, the mango is more authentic. They do say they're brewing with mango, but also natural flavors. So that has a nice hazy Goza look to it. Um, you know, not completely opaque. I can see the um, shadow of my hand through, but you can't really make it out clearly. Uh, has this nice, beautiful um, yellow, kind of orange color. Like I said, murky. Had about a finger of a bright white, um, colored head that is now dissipated to about a quarter of a finger. Hold it up to the light. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Looks kind of sunshine-esque in the glass. Let's get a nose. So the mango here is very subtle. If I was doing this blind, I would say there's definitely some kind of stone fruit. I don't know if I'd necessarily say mango to a tea in the nose. There's a touch of salinity. And it has a nice, like, tart, grainy, almost doughy kind of uh, malt base. I'm, the mango smells authentic and not like candied or anything, which is nice. So the natural flavors, whatever that is, um, I'm getting more of like an authentic mango, which is appreciated. Yeah, it smells super refreshing. And like if it was like 80, 85 degrees out right now, I would want to just crush this in about half second. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. So that has a very firm tartness into low sourness which is what the style is. Um, usually goes as to me, aren't like overly sour. Same thing about Berliner Weisses. They can be sour. They can be mouth puckering. But for the most part, I find them to be like higher side of tart, lower side of sour. Like it's not always mouth puckering. This approach is that. I love that I get the salinity on like my lips and the tip of the tongue. Like I definitely feel um, the salt. But in this one, it's not super watery and light. This is like straight up medium body. Maybe I would like it actually a little bit lighter. Um, so this is like lower side of medium into medium body. Bigger than I anticipate for 4.6%. The mouthfeel, it's very crisp. But is it very smooth going down? Yes. E very easy to drink from a body and mouth uh, feel perspective. The taste, this is not overly complicated. This is not super um, deep in, in, in the flavors. This is not a super complex beer. But... It's pretty much what they say it is. Uh, right front of the tongue, I get hit with this malt base that's kind of, again, doughy, grainy, uh, subtle, but noticeable. It dives underneath the palate. As it starts to pass through, I definitely get the mango. And it is like an over-ripened mango as opposed to like just a straight up ripened or unripened mango. But it's not too candid for me. I could see some folks maybe thinking that it has more of like a candied mango vibe. So I wouldn't necessarily say uh, or disagree with that. But it's not, it's not like a... A lot of times when you get like an overripe peach, you instantly think peach gummy rings. It's not to that level for me, but it is a bit sweeter. Midway through the palate, the sweetness of the mango starts turning into more of a high tartness, low sourness of the base beer. And that continues on into the finish. And on the finish, 
there's a salinity that kind of hits from uh, back to front. So I get hit with the salt and then it carries on through the palate. And then when I'm sitting here just talking to you right now, around my lips and the tip and sides of the tongue, I get that like slight salinity, salty kind of feel, which is nice. This finish is very dry, absolutely no bitterness, but there's a big dryness. So is this too sweet? No. Does it lean sweet? Yes. It's very reminiscent of the watermelon variant, but I think the watermelon one was a little bit too sweet for me. I mean, not like crazy sweet. I could drink a can or two, but for something that's low ABV and meant to be like kind of a spring or summertime crusher, I would like to see this specifically dial back like five or 10% sweetness and the watermelon one probably like 15 or 20%. But I will say that I think execution wise, this is a little bit better than the watermelon one, but I like them equally. They're obviously different fruits. So it depends on how much you like watermelon compared to mango. I mean, I really like watermelon and I thoroughly enjoy mango, but I like watermelon a little bit more, but I think that beer being a little bit sweeter and this a little less sweet, I think it kind of works for me. I think a lot of folks who are drinking like the crazy heavily fruited sours, you know, with the fruit puree and the thickness and just over the top, like pastry sours and stuff, you might come to this and just be like, wow, that doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's thinner. It's just kind of crisp and refreshing, but like not crazy flavor wise. This isn't meant to be, this is meant to be a summer crusher. You could drink a bunch of them. They're 4.6%, not going to weigh you down. So I enjoy this one for what it is. So green zebra, the mango variant from founders, 4.6%, like say, so can't even tell, which is really nice. Helps the drinkability. I'm easily going to give this a, uh, I'm going to give this a straight four out of five. I think that's where this one lands for me. Um, I can't go much higher. I can't go much lower. I just think that's kind of where this beer lands. It's a four out of five for me specifically. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like I said, if I wanted to critique it a little bit more, like I said, a little less sweet and maybe even drop the body down a little bit. Not to say this is like crazy, like thick or anything, but it's medium body. I like maybe, maybe more of like lower side like firm lower side of medium body and make it a little bit more crushable for me. Price point availability, like I said, the variety pack that I saw was $19.99 for a 12 pack. I think it was $19.99. Could have been like $18.99. Somewhere in that realm. That's fine for something like this, in my opinion. And availability, wherever you see founders, this probably should have already rolled out. Um, I'll, I'll date the review, like I said, two and a half months old. This I'm reviewing this in late March, and this has a Canada date of um, January 12th. So these probably hit the market here in Buffalo maybe about a month, month and a half ago, and probably the same for everybody else who gets founder stuff. So if you enjoyed the watermelon variant back in the day and you want to try another uh, one of their beers, grab this one, grab the variety pack. If you could buy singles, I'd highly recommend that first, but the variety pack's pretty good bang for your buck, and I enjoy this one. So if you've had this one before, anything else within the Green Zebra, series throw in the comment section which one did you like the most of the variety pack if i'm going to pick up the pineapple or peach what would your recommendation be and do you enjoy any of them more than the original which is the watermelon so huge thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol to the next one cheers